Hey everyone, Amarathi here and we are back with another build guide for you. This time we are looking at the Zeus build. We have Zeus 2.0 for you. We've made some significant changes, much beyond just adding some legendaries to the build. So I thought I would go through how I'm building this build now. It's really fun, it's awesome, can push super high in corruption. Probably one of the most active builds there is. So I'm going to go through some of those changes and how we're building it now. As always, the build planner is below. I've got one for the ideal stats and one for my in-game character that you can see here. If you want to see me playing this live, you can join me on twitch.tv forward slash Amarathi. Similar to the original Zeus build, I would not level with this build. It requires a few expensive and rare items to get going. However, as soon as you have the smite idols, you can swap to this build. So there's going to be two key changes from the original Zeus build. One is that we are going to be focusing on electrify damage and two, we are going to be running a different setup within our javelin tree to how we actually proc our smites. So first up, we're going to be using the Tyranny Bident. The Tyranny Bident is a new polearm that was added in 084 and is fantastic for this build because it's going to give us a whole heap of electrify effect as well as it being a pole arm so that we can make use of a lunge. I'll get into that in just a moment. What you'll need to know is that we are no longer running devotion and focusing on smite crit damage. We are focusing on that electrify effect and we are trying to stack it up as much as possible. For the javelin tree, we're gonna be running the siege barrage and spiked bombardment setup allowing us to get five javelins down per cast and this is going to be very important for what we're doing as we are going to be brooking a whole heap more smites in the area than where we were with the previous version and significantly increase our single target dps however the siege barrage setup is very mana hungry and so i would recommend looking for two tier 7 throwing attack mana cost rings this is the expensive part of the build and it will take you a long time to get this if you are playing Last Epoch for the first time. Don't stress if you don't have two tier sevens, just make sure that you're running a tier one to five throwing attack mana cost as that will reduce it by three and include much more mana regen in the build as well as perhaps taking a point out of the spiked bombardment node. Now how we are actually going to get our electrified chance is from Ignite and Bleed. So Javelin is going to convert Ignite and Bleed in Electrify, but Smite is only going to convert Ignite. So we want to focus on Ignite as the main one in this build. As such, we have drastically changed how we set up our passive tree, and now we are going deep into the Forge Guard tree to pick up Smelter's Might for the 140% Bleed and Ignite chance. Now, while we can actually expect a good amount of damage out of Javelin itself, it's still going to be Smite that's doing the hard-hitting Electrify. As such, we'll be putting the 5 points into Sacrifice for the 250% more damage. Remember, generic more damage applies to the ailments applied by its skill as well. And then we'll be taking the Order of Lag on to convert the Ignite into Electrify, the 5 points in Charged Hand for the Electrify effect and duration, and finally Unbalanced Scale for the additional Lightning Bolts to help with our AoE. We are no longer running sigils in the build. Instead, we will be specking into lunge for the Pillum Assault node. This allows us to cast Javelin after we lunge to a target and will drastically add up to our burst damage and overall Javelin casts. We'll also be running Holy Incursion to get additional smites off in a pack, as well as Double Strike for the additional lunge charge. Lastly, since we are doing dot damage instead of spell damage, we can no longer gain the benefit of the spell leech blessing and instead will run a leading heart in the build. If you still want to learn more about this build, I would recommend checking out the original Zeus video as I go through all the details of some of the other skill notes and defensives. I just really wanted to focus on the changes within this build guide. For offense, we'll be focusing on throwing attack mana cost, ignite on hit, throwing attack speed, level of smite or javelin, and lightning or dot damage. For defense, we will be focusing on increased and hybrid health, 100% critical strike avoidance, resistance is above 65%, increased armor, vitality and added health. For legendaries, the existing uniques in the build will look to have ignite on hit and lightning dot percent on our Tyranny's Biden, 
move speed and hybrid health on our storm tides, ignite on hit and Ellie dot for our bleeding heart. You may also want to include a legendary titan heart or storm carved testament in the build. Well, there you go, guys. If you've got any further questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you, or you can join me on twitch.tv forward slash Amarathi. Lastly, if you are enjoying the content and haven't already, please consider subscribing as it greatly helps out the channel. Till next time.